not know that was coming. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's YC Rhino. And tonight I thought I would do a reaction to something a little fun. Uh, recently on RuPaul's Drag Race, they did a rusical dedicated to Joan Crawford. And I asked if you guys wanted me to do a reaction to Mommy Dearest. And the answer was yes. So I've decided I'm going to react to Mommy Dearest tonight. Now, in full disclosure, I have seen Mommy Dearest before. I think I've seen it maybe two or three times, but I think it's been more than 10 years uh, since the last time I saw it. So it'll almost be like me watching it for the first time. I just remember some of the key moments in the movie, probably the, the things that are most common to people who know any reference to Mommy Dearest. I remember those scenes, but over. I don't remember that much of the movie, so I'm actually excited to be watching it again for the first time in a very long time. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're not new to my channel, thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to Mommy Dearest. Four o'clock in the morning. Forgot those little straps that um, used to see them like in the old magazines. Those face straps that are supposed to help keep your your chin from sagging. Scraping her face with a brush, mama. And that's got that's got to be counterproductive. Do people still use ice? Do they still like put cold ice on their face? I won't be doing it. I'm just curious if it works. Wow, look at that closet. Looks like a department store. How's she able to read in a dark car? I can barely dial my phone in a moving car. <laughs> She's able to sign autograph pictures. Oh, looks amazing. Let's go. Let's go. is finished in the living room, Miss Crawford. Got the white glove out. She's like, let me see if this is up to my standards. Helga's been cleaning longer than you've been alive. <laughs> Where's the most random place she's gonna look? With this. Oh. oh! That's your ass! When you polish the floor, you have to move the tree. What's... If you can't do something right, don't do it at all. Girl, you should know better than that. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake. To stay on top of things every single minute. She has some control issues, doesn't she? She is very particular. Well, take your shoes off. I just washed that floor. Literally, she just washed it, not mopped it. She washed it. What about the socks? She's like, are you mocking me? I can handle the socks. That was probably very scandalous for the, for the time, you know? Women probably weren't really, um, single women probably really weren't, um, weren't allowed to be sexually free and to, you know, not married. I'm guessing, I mean, this is like the 30s, right? When this, this time period, so I was, I'm curious if it was a scandal. Oh, Bridget's cute. He said, well, I gotta give me one of them. You know what's missing in my life? A hit movie. Hey! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> he no, ate her ass a up! A baby? Oof. Yeah. You know I've always wanted a kid. You're too vain to be pregnant. God, doll! He is tearing her ass up! I was pregnant seven times with Francho. I lost them all. Wow. I'm gonna adopt one. No agency would give you a baby. How do you know? I'm a lawyer. Bend the law. Bend the law. Adoption agencies can be brutal. I was asked, I was gonna ask why. Besides I was like, is because she's single? I could be a mother and a father. I know how to teach a kid to take care of himself and amount to something. I know I could. Huh? One thing's certain. You'd sure get a lot of publicity. Oh. So that wasn't her initial thought. You guys in Hollywood, all you think about is publicity. Why don't you try to understand a woman? I'm afraid I have some difficult news for you, Miss Crawford. We got no babies. 
the agency has denied your application oh, for no. adoption. You're a busy, active woman, and the candidate is found to be an unsuitable parent. Wow. Just because she lit, she's single? Unsuitable. I mean, that, this just goes to show, like, the mindset that people Don't had you dare judge me. back then. What you're really doing is denying one of your children the opportunity to live a wonderful and advantaged life. Just because I don't have no freaking husband? I don't need no man? I feel like I'm gonna need my buttons. Let me, let me pause this. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm gonna need my buttons for this movie. I haven't used these in a very long time. <laughs> Got my shade and my girl buttons. Cause I think this is gonna come in handy for this movie. <laughs> oh great darling, please don't drink. I don't want whiskey on your breath. Damn it, Joan, I got you the baby. It's yours, you have it. We're so pleased, Miss Crawford. Thank you, Doctor. Hello. Hi, little baby. You're perfect. Now, the last time she was happy. <laughs> That's a very picturesque shot. Look at that. I'm going to give you all the things. I never had. You're a lucky little girl. <laughs> and very expensive. It cost me a lot of favors. I'm gonna call you Christina. Christina. Christina Crawford. That was kind of a, a maniacal look she had in her eye just then. Like, ookie ookie. Do we have a bit of a time jump here? Does that mean up until this point everything with Christina was good? Are you having a happy birthday, Christina? Don't this is the best party I ever She's had. so cute. I love you, mommy dears. Oh, I love those matching dresses. That's so cute. Oh, and this is a little baby boy. It's time for his nap. Why does she get that? Why does she have that leash on him? <laughs> like a harness that you put on a dog. The studio would like some shots of you watching Christina open a present. All right, Jimmy. I have a grass stain. <clears throat> she is not pleased. All right, dear. Right. Hang on. Have Nanny fix it. We'll wait for you here. <laughs> She's like these kids always messing up stuff. Big smile, Christina. Okay, Christina. Wide smile now. Wide eyes. Beautiful. She's a real natural, Miss Crawford. Well, Miss Crawford, I promised the studio some real good stuff when she blows out the candles. All right, Jimmy. Wow, this is her daughter's birthday party. This is not a daggone opportunity for the studio to get their whatever. She's so beautiful. Is that the present you like best? Oh, yes. Then that's the present you can keep. We'll take the rest. To the orphans who don't have anything. Oh, Christina's looking pissed. <laughs> hello, hello. She's like, you gonna do what with my toys, with my gifts? I mean, it's a, it's a nice idea, but Christina might just be a little too young to understand the concept of charity. Just what I wanted. You like it? Yeah, but you can't keep the baby doll. I'm only keeping one present. All the rest I'm going to give to the poor orphans. <laughs> He's playing that up. So I'll just uh, keep this for you until you don't have to chew. They're still dating. They've been together for a long time. They were together before she was born, right? You may keep the doll. And the bracelet. And the bracelet. But. <laughs> oh. Well, that's good, but you've got to push off more with your weight. Come on, let's see another one. I'm tired, Mommy. Twitter. Only a kid. So was I. <laughs> Only a kid. You've got to know how to compete and win. I don't want her growing up a spoiled Hollywood brat. This script is the best script the studio has, and it has been offered to me. They think I'm slipping. Are you? No. I just want that part. I want you to. You got me. Who wants to go swimming? I do. I'll race you. Damn, he didn't got up the steps and she got her swim cap on, got in the water, and they racing already? That was quick. 
Again? I'll give you a bigger head start. She is competitive. Come on, Tina. Look, I'm a little kid. It'll look like I don't trust this bitch. Even if she gave the girl a half a pool head start, she's still gonna beat her every time. You're bigger than I am. It's not fair to win twice. Ah, but twice. nobody ever said that life was fair to you. Yeah, that's true. Then I'm not gonna play with you anymore. <laughs> ever. You ever use that tone of voice with me, Missy. March yourself upstairs to your room and you will stay there until I tell you to come out. No, I won't. Yes, you will. Ow! Ow! Eat that ass. Oh my God. You will stay in here until you are ready to behave. And stay in there. Now, I agree with Joan to an extent. The little girl was getting a little sassy. Now. Did, did, did she do all that? No. But the girl did have a little smart mouth to start off with. So maybe I could see a little bit. I could side with Mommy Dearest, but I don't know about throwing her in the little pool house. Mr. Sabbath, calling from Mr. Mayor's office. Hmm. Gonna get that roll? Mayor thinks she'd be wonderful in the picture you wanted. Nice. Oh, great. No, great. Goodbye. Oh. Good for you! Caroline! I wonder what movie it was for. I got it! I got it! Yeah. Yeah, guess what? Where Christina at? Yes. Ooh! It was my wonderful thing. Christina, girl, is your peripheral not working? Me a star. What do you think you're doing? She's a child. She's playing make-believe. Making fun of me? I wasn't making fun of you. I was acting. Play acting. Like you're always doing. Look at yourself. Ow! Ah, doll! Tina, what you put on her? What in the world? Why are you being... It's just setting lotion. Oh! Ooh, she put setting lotion in her hair. God, Joan, chill, Mom. Oh, my God, why are you cutting the girl's hair? You could just wash that out. You don't have to cut her hair. You're always rummaging through my drawers, trying to find a way to make people look at you. Why are you always looking at yourself in the mirror? Why are you doing that? Tell oh, my me. God. You go bald to school and then looking like a trap. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't All right, that's an awful no, wig they got on this little girl. She went from happy, ecstatic, to angry, to crying, hysterical. She is all over the place. I don't think that was called for. That She could have just washed that little girl's hair and washed the setting lotion out. There was no need for her to cut her hair. She is, uh, I wonder if she was bipolar. Good evening, Miss Parker. Welcome. Your booth is ready. Oh, Greg went on in there without her? <laughs> He's like, well, I figured you'd show up eventually. Well, I'm glad to see they finally let go. We were about to send out a rescue party. Come join us. We're having dinner. <laughs> Thank you, LB, but our table is ready. I insist. Pull up a chair. Your ace is Jody. Table's tight. We'll all meet in New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's giving him a look. Like, hey, you got to play the game. At a mayor's table like some picked up floozy. Is that what you think of me? Girl, you said you wanted the part. You got the part. I mean. When you were a kid, that made you look sexy. Now it just makes you look drunk. Ooh. Then Mayor would have to bring his bankers over and introduce them, get your autograph, and leave. That's what you should have done. Mm hmm. He right. If you'd been nice enough to stay out there with me, help me through the crowd and into the restaurant like a gentleman. She's right. She has a point. I did think it was kind of rude that he went in there without her. You know that son of a bitch is trying to destroy my career. Your career's in trouble. It has nothing to do with him. And what is it? That attitude, girl. The truth is you're getting old. Damn! Oh, my God.
my shade button is not working. <laughs> the rotten, crooked lawyer. <laughs> Supplying the grease that makes this shitty movie business work. Ah, that cut deep. First person talks to me like that. No one anywhere. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> They, everything's all right. You, you, I'll start keeping it real. That, the feelings get hurt. I didn't mean it. Yeah. You said it, though. But you called her old first, so. Get up. There's no camera in here. Ooh. He said you are uh, pretending, darling. I'm waiting for you. Good night, Joan. Are you walking away from the Joan Crawford? Please don't leave, because if you do... You'll never come back in again, no matter what you say, or ask, or do. I'll always wish you well, Joan. Damn. Please don't go. Don't leave me here alone. If you're acting, you're wasting your time. Damn. I'm not acting. I'm not acting. God, they were together for a long time. That's crazy. Um, one little argument, just relationship, just gone down the drain. Is she gonna cut him out? The okay, she petty. Just cut the man out the picture. Like that doesn't change the fact. I mean, and she put the picture back in the picture frame without the head on. Now, Joan. Disappear. <laughs> that that was a little much. Kids, I mean, they don't they don't know what promised last night. You promised. I told you how important today is to mommy. I'm so worried, mommy. What's going on today? You were very, very bad to wake mommy up like that. You are selfish and thoughtless. You must learn to think about other people. Yeah. Bad. I learned it from watching you, mommy. I learned it from watching you. You took her dolls? My babies. Someone stole both my babies. They were thoughtless, selfish, spoiled children. Now they won't wake you up when you need your rest. She is like level 100 petty. That is a little kid. She is just... <laughs> She is a real bitch. And I was going to say, well, you know, so far it hasn't been so bad. Like, she hasn't asked anything of the kids that weren't, that's like, like not, you know, Good morning, Miss Crawford. reasonable, Good but morning, Ellen, that was unreasonable. LB. Have I ever lied to you in your whole career or given you one piece of bad advice? Never. Joan, my Joan, you're in a position to do me a favor that will be as big a favor for you as it is for me. You don't have to ask. I want you to leave Metro. What? Why? And go where? Your pictures, one after another, are losing money. Theater owners voted you box office poison. Damn. We'll pay you off on your contract. But you can't afford to make three or four more losers for us. No, listen to me, LB. I have been begging you. Begging you for a good script. You're a great star. You're Hollywood royalty. Mm, damn. But styles change. They are putting her out the pasture. Every studio will think they're smarter than LB. You may even get a hit. Will you be sorry then? Nope. I'm sorry now. Oh, I wonder if he had a conversation with Greg, and Greg's like, yeah, get rid of her. I'll have my maid and studio people clear out my bungalow. It's done, Joan. <laughs> oh, my God. Your <laughs> Damn. You know, everybody. You the last one to know? Woo. God, that really got to hurt. Everybody knows but you. They done packed your shit up. It's waiting for you out in the driveway. Damn. You got a lot of class because I ought to turn that bitch out. <laughs> the different time. She's like, all right, bet. Bastard. Oh, wow. Damn. I mean, it is her yard, so whatever you got to do to work out that anger. Why are you gonna wake the kids? Wants you downstairs in the rose garden. Come on, hurry up. Oh, she wants to. Mother wants you right away. <laughs> why is he always tied up? Like, why do they have a harness on him? Is he sleepwalk or something? Or they just don't want him wandering around the house at night. Oh, God, I want some 
help here. Caroline and Christopher, start clearing away all these branches. Start gathering them up. Mama, these are the roses. The they have thorns. Those kids can't pick up them branches. Their hands gonna be all fucked up. Can we do this like in a during the day? We're in the middle of the night. Woo! She's Tina. going through it. Bring me the axe. <laughs> No, that was coming. You know, like, are you going to use it on me? Because I don't want you to. What is she trying to chop down? This little tiny tree? Oh, no, Joan. Come on, girl. Get back into it. Those bastards, they used you for years. They took your youth. And they just threw you out like the garbage. Like yesterday's newspaper. You all right? You good? You work all that out? Yeah, you were a mess, honey. <laughs> you were a hot mess. Aren't the pies enough? Do you have to degrade us? Vita, don't say that. Is that from really Mildred Pierce? Pop. That's why father left. <gasps> She's like, bitch, you didn't have to hit me for real. <laughs> She's like, you, we're supposed to be just walking through this scene. I'm like, I know you're a method actress and everything, but damn. She wants everything to be perfect. At all times, always. Yep. This time. It's even more important. They're making your mother take a screen test. The nerve. That's for people who are beginners, not for professionals no, like she Yes. Is for her. She is it is Mildred Pierce. Yeah, and she ends up getting that part. That was a good movie. I'm gonna have to watch that one again because it's been a long time since I've seen Mil Mildred Pierce. You haven't touched your lunch. Ew, it's bloody. It's raw. Yeah. It's rare, not raw. Hmm. I beg to differ. Darling, rare meat is good for you. The doctor said so. That was medium rare meat. <laughs> it should not still be mooing. Oh, Christina's headstrong. No wonder they get into it. They just alike. Negotiates everything like a goddamn Hollywood Asian. You got it from her mama. Eat your lunch. Eat the other stuff. Eat the vegetables. Getting up from this table until you have finished that. Oh, that happened to me once when I was a kid. Stuffed bell peppers. My dad would not let me get up until I finished. I sat at that table from like 2 o'clock in the afternoon till 8 o'clock at night. I would not eat it. Yep. <laughs> Christina, I'm with you, girl. Just certain things. But now I love stuff, stuffed bell peppers. But I was like maybe 8. Ugh. Nope. That girl's, that girl's headstrong. You have met your match, Joan. It frustrates her. It probably frustrates her and impresses her that this girl... <laughs> Is like this. She's like, God, you may damn it, I'm impressed. <laughs> Take it into the kitchen and put it into the refrigerator. Oh, you gonna eat that tomorrow? That's gonna be your, just gonna be your breakfast. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Oh, I love this dress. Christina, like, I'm not eating that. I told you I wasn't gonna eat it. But that's all right. I'm gonna go downstairs and put it back in the refrigerator. You can have it again tomorrow. Oh, this bitch looks good. Oh, this dress. Okay, I mean, how many days you gonna bring that same? You can't keep trotting that same food out. It can't be. It can't be good anymore. Well, Christina ate, ate in two days. You may drink your glass of milk, and then you may be excused from the table, Christina. <clears throat> Tina, the milk. Empty that plate into the trash can. Oh, finally. Okay. <laughs> she looked like. She looked like her mama gonna throw something at her and she's just keeping her eye on her. Make sure she... Must everything be a contest? It really is. With this one. For the last weekend. Oh, she Come wins the Oscar for Mildred Pierce. Turns every year into a crisis. So something good happens and then she turns on her kids. So that's that that has been the that's been the pattern so far. Now for the best female performance in a leading role and the winner is Joan Crawford. <gasps> yep. She won the Oscar for Mildred Pierce. Yep. And that was after they let you go. Mr. Mary gonna call you back up? Like, don't call me, LB. I love, like, that old Hollywood where they wore the long dressing gowns and just looks so fabulous. Oh, here's the scene. Here's the famous scene. I'm sorry if I'm gonna spoil this for people who haven't seen Mommy Dearest. I forget I even said anything. Ooh. 
What is this? What is this? <laughs> the outrage. Now, in all fairness, this is not this child's fault. She did not go out and get this clothes hanger. No wire hangers! What did a wire clothes hanger ever do to her? <laughs> she, is, she is that upset. Damn. What wire hangers doing in this closet? Why is she blaming this child? She's supposed to... Okay. Bitch, you are overreacting. <laughs> you are overreacting. Yeah, she needs to be medicated. I mean, bitch, you could see all the clothes. You ain't gonna do all that extra shit. Oh, there's another one. Oh, bitch, there's two of them. <laughs> yes, two. Woo. Christina, you better run, girl. Oh, my God. Joan. Damn, girl. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. That's a goddamn enough. You don't need to be hitting that damn child with a clothes hanger. Get him clean of this mess. The mess that you just made? Oh, this bitch. This bitch. She could have been a perfect mother up to this point. She has completely ruined her relationship with this child. No wonder this child goes on to write a book about her. That's fucked up what she just did. You just beat that child. Not spanked her, but you beat her. Room floor today. God, she did is you? vicious. Yes, mommy dearest. Oh, that bitch is crazy. God, duh. When did this turn into a horror movie? Do you think it's clean? Do I mean, I did, <laughs> but now. Do you? Yes, I do. We're gonna clean this floor. You and me together. Go. This has got to be a metaphor for her trying to to and did process some kind of childhood trauma. Oh my god! Jones, mama, mama. It is not that serious. It really isn't. You don't walk this girl up out of her bed, whipping her with a clothes hanger, and then you got her here scrubbing the damn floor with comet trauma. Yeah. It really isn't clean now. Clean up this mess. Ooh. Ow. You figure it out. God. <laughs> Her mom was savage. Be like, that's for, that's your problem. Be like, this bitch, I'm gonna put her ass in a nursing home and I am never gonna come visit her. Christopher, you got out of the bed. Be like, yeah, I can always get out of the bed. I hope you clean it up. No. Strap yourself in. She'll kill me if she found out. Ah, oh, that's a little extreme. All of America knows of your generosity in adopting these two homeless children. Homeless? They're beautifully behaved. Discipline mixed with love is such a good recipe. But we like to share them with other boys and girls who aren't so fortunate. <laughs> she looked like she told her exactly what she better say and what she better not say. She's like, bitch, you better not fuck this up. Will it be scotch with ice tonight? Please. Damn. Please with the scotch on it. <laughs> he said, last time you gave me too much scotch, not enough ice. You know, this is a different time when the little kids serving drinks. Easy, easy in the scotch, Christina. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert, I fix all my uncle's drinks this way. How many uncles you got? I am not your uncle. Oh, well, you know, the uncle's a metaphor for mama's boyfriend. Ooh, she got that leg up there. She's like, you know what? I still got it, bitch. <laughs> I still got it. Oh, I don't think I can get my leg up there like that. I need to find out how old she was during this time period. Mr. Gilbert is here. She said, oh, y'all caught me feeling myself. <laughs> Making herself a drink? <laughs> you make me one, Christina. I hope that's not vodka she pouring in there. Oh my God, I thought she was about to chug it. <laughs> she looked like she was about to turn that glass up. I wouldn't drink that. She looked like she put some poison in it. Thank you, 
way she kind of sauntered up, like, a little rat poison in it for you. What is she doing? Is she flirting with that guy? It's quite an extraordinary young lady. Is she flirting? <laughs> Jones like this little bitch. Oh, she sent Christina's ass to boarding school? I don't know, Christina. That might not be the punishment you think it is. That actually might be nice, considering how your mom acts sometimes. I know you'll be happy here, Christina. I won't. Please don't make me stay. That's the lady from the Waltons. I'll call you later. All right? Damn, you just dropped off at the curb. <laughs> at least go in and check out the facilities. The girl didn't even know she was going to boarding school. What play was that from? It's Antigone. It's a Greek myth written that by... That little haircut's Antigone. so cute on her. The little curly cues. <laughs> Miss Movie Star, what is this? Not too booked. Stop it. Tony. Yes, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's girlfriend's getting pissed off. She's like, yeah, stop it. Mother's still fabulous. Got her red lipstick at all times. Her diamonds. Why is she dressed like Sophia from the Golden Girls? <laughs> Tommy, we'll have the New York steak for two, rare. Mm -mm. And two limestone steak. Christina said, not I. Oh, did she learn to get down with the rare steak? I still wouldn't be eating a rare steak. I mean, we can have this standoff again, but I'm not doing it. And what about your Christmas card list? Christmas card? Bitch, it's August. <laughs> I'm studying for exams. <laughs> I thought she was going to say it was like some crazy time of the year. Being away at school has made you more rebellious. I am not a baby anymore. Maybe you'd be better off at home. Hmm, that backfired. I've had to let Helga go. I need your help at home this weekend. Hmm. I'm having some financial difficulties. She's agreed to let you go on a work scholarship program. Sell that house, girl. That's all right. We'll manage. You know, I was on a work scholarship program. I went through school scrubbing floors. Mostly. Here we go. Work. There was that trauma we talked, uh, talked about. I lost my contract at Warner's. Oh, fuck. No job. I did know what I could do. Oof. That's hard. It'll be okay. We'll manage. She getting ready to turn on this girl again? The girl is trying to support you. You just unloaded all your shit on her. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I thought she was about to jump in her shit again all those years. I never thought it could happen. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Keep on keeping on. I came up to say goodnight to you. Damn. You wrecked? <laughs> Mommy? Mommy didn't had a couple of Vicodin. Caroline! Caroline! Damn, did she overdose? I think she needs an ambulance. She doesn't need an ambulance. She's drunk. Oh, she drunk. Damn, she passed out? I know that bitch ain't been shopping. I saw bags and she boxes. All of these. Two days ago, they were delivered this afternoon. You just said you was broke. She told me we were broke. Oh, we, we broke for you. <laughs> I, I still can buy shit. Come on, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, Christina's like, girl, pull yourself together. It's a great horse. Wanna ride him? When? How about tonight? What about Vera? She's just a friend. Does Vera know she's just a friend? Because that side eye she gave you <laughs> was not friend side eye. Here come Vera. And she is not going to be happy about this situation. Ooh, ass out. Ass out. This is really swell. Vera. Am I am going to tell. Vera, don't be a bitch. I am ashamed to be your mother. And you, how could you let this happen? Both students have been put on probation. Probation. <laughs> this is a partisan institution of learning by a teenage brothel. Chadwick has an impeccable reputation. She's like, well, bitch, you're not even paying tuition anyway. I think you're overreacting, Miss Crawford. I'll bet. And I think you're underreacting, Mrs. Chadwick. Come on, girl. We going home. 
She didn't even wait until she get home to drink. She's like, you know what? Give me that flask. There's a liquor store to the right. Oh, shit. You know you know where to find the boys and the boys. <laughs> well, I am your daughter. Barbara Bennett is here from New York doing a cover story on me for Red Book. Fix your face. <laughs> very important to me. I don't want any trouble from you. Then you should probably have been nicer to her in the car on the way there. Like, don't be pissed at her, yelling at her the whole time, and then get to the house and expect her to act right. I'd be like, you go in, you go straight to your room. God, Christina. Some fancy manners at Chadwick. It's not all they can teach her. <laughs> she got expelled. That's a lie. Don't you question me? Your mommy dearest. Christina, I want to talk to you. In the other room. Not in front of company. She could have just let it go. She's making a bigger deal about this. She's making it more awkward. She could have just let it go. Why did you tell her I got expelled? Because you did get expelled. It is a lie. <clears throat> Ooh. You gonna hit her back? <clears throat> oh. Mm-mm. Don't work no more, mommy, dearest. You love to make me hit you. Joan. Uh. Barbara, please. Please, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, please. <laughs> I'm going to start using that Barbara, please. That was amazing. You deliberately embarrass me in front of a reporter. You are embarrassing yourself right now. Oh, my God. She is a me. Oh my god. The drama. Why did you adopt me? Because I wanted someone to love. Do you act for me? Jeez. I feel like both of them are acting. Maybe I did it for a little extra publicity. Don't say that. That's not true. Yeah, I don't think that's true at all. You know I think she really did want to be a mother. Why can't you give me? The respect that I'm entitled to. Because I am not one of your fans. Ooh, ooh, ooh she might strangle you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Barbara, come help this girl. Barbara, come help her. Joan, this has gone very wrong. Damn, did this really happen? I'm sure there's got to be a record of did this really happen. <laughs> <laughs> she lost her mind. They said, you're going to need... They then took her to a convent? Holy shit. She's just a normal kid. Like, she's just doing normal kid stuff. I mean, the first chance I got, I would be out of there. Like, yeah, I'm not staying here. We're not doing all that. To Joan and Alfred, a long and happy marriage. Oh, her mama done fucked around and got married? Where your kids at, Joan? Ooh. Oh, they finally letting her escape the convent. How long has she been there? She looks pretty. I like her. I love her with the longer hair. For being so good to me. She's been there. She was there for years. No visitors. She couldn't leave. No mail. No phone calls. So she hadn't seen her mom in all this time. I want you to meet my husband. You got a whole ass stepdaddy that you have never met. That's crazy. Uh, what up, pops? <laughs> hey, daddy. I'm Christina. Wow. Don't don't shake his hand too long or smile too hard. Your mama send your ass back to the convent. Tear down that bitch of a bearing wall and put a window where it ought to be. Mm, they don't call it a bearing wall for nothing. Well, I was wondering if uh, you could lend me a little money, you know, to get by this month. Not a cent. What? Doing things on your own is best. But good God, she is doing things on her own. She said she's working. I mean, I understand teaching your kids the value of, you know, money and earning things, but if she is working. Thanks, Daddy. 
That was nice of him to do that. I mean, she, the girl said she's working, so it'd be different if she wasn't. We're gonna have to cut back on our spending. What are you talking about? Most of our expenses, including this apartment, are for your company. We have to look great for Pepsi Cola. Get the goddamn company to pay the bills. We'll find a solution. <laughs> you love a challenge. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get in my way. Don't worry. Miss Crawford, the condolences of every person at Pepsi Cola are with you. Oh shit, he died? Oh, that's right. I forgot he died. And we want to give you ample time to repay the debt. I've got a hundred thousand shares of stock. Your husband had to borrow against the stock to pay for the construction. Ooh. Owned him a considerable sum in addition to meet expenses his salary didn't cover. Ouch. Trying to sweep the poor little widow under the carpet? I'm on the board of directors of this lousy company. Well, we assumed that with your husband gone, you would no longer want to be. Oh, on no, the... she wants to be on the board. You can best believe that. <laughs> you can best believe that. She ain't walking away. We have retired you. Damn. Oh, they just. I fought worse monsters than you for years in Hollywood. I know how to win the hard way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You don't know what hard feelings are. I come out publicly against your product. <laughs> They're like, all right. To make threats you surely don't mean. Don't fuck with me, fellas. <laughs> this ain't my first time. Yes. <laughs> it's a sword. It cuts both ways. Uh, Y'all fuck with the wrong one. Y'all might want to think again. The board has failed to realize the extent of the <laughs> He's like, uh, we were just about to fuck you over, but we are having second thoughts. Please to have you stay on. That's more like it. <laughs> she said, don't fuck with me, fellas. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Good job. Oh, that was amazing. That was probably the best scene of the movie. Although I will be using Barbara, please. <laughs> I will be using that one. Well, I know she's not about to roll up at, at Christine's place. Christina's place. Everything she got, she had to get on her own. Mommy Dearest was not playing that nepotism game. But I'm up for a part. Good. It's a soap opera. Oh, well, it's a very good experience. I brought you a gift. Wow. Beautiful. They were the first present that Al ever gave me. If you don't get this part, for Christ's sake, don't bother. <laughs> Like, girl, give them back to me before you sell them. Four o'clock yet. It's five after. Five after. Turn the set on now. Oh, she got the part. You two make a lovely couple. Congratulations. I wonder what uh, soap opera it is. Mm, what did mom think about it? It wasn't great. She's doing quite well. Don't you think? Mm. Something good had to rub off. Let's <laughs> get to work. Wow. Appendicitis? Oh Lord! Imagine having trying to call for help and you gotta dial. <laughs> you gotta dial nine numbers, eight numbers. How is she? She'll be fine. It was an ovarian tumor, but completely benign. Thank you. Tell me, this won't affect her job in any way, would it? How long will she be here? Let me call you tomorrow. We'll discuss it. Please. Your TV show's on. Don't you want to watch? To see how well they manage without me. To see your mother. See your mother? I'm just gonna stand <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about that. My character's only 28 years Yeah, well, she is doing it. She saw an opportunity and she said, let me go ahead and jump in here. Did Joan Crawford really do that? Did that really happen? You all right, Mom? You got the, you, you remember your lines? The cue cards are too goddamn low. Uh -huh. I tell them to bring them up higher, huh? Girl, that ain't that's that is that's where it went right. right. Uh, uh, you all right? <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When you lied on your on the job interview. <laughs> Maybe we should elope. I'm old enough to be no. your mother, at least. More romantic idea. That is ludicrous. If that really happened, she is way too old to be playing this character. That's just that's just bananas. I can't hear Carol Ann without thinking Poltergeist. 
That's just not a name I've ever heard before or since. Your mother is going to be so alone when you leave. She'll be all right. <laughs> be all right. We bestow our organization's highest award of merit, Academy Award winning actress, but also as a businesswoman held yeah. in high regard for her. She all bad. She's sleeping on a mattress on the damn floor. Box spring on the floor? To a truly great lady, Miss Joan Crawford. Tonight to accept the award on behalf of her mother is Miss Crawford's daughter, Christina. Now, Christina ain't gonna get up there and clown her mom, is she? She not gonna say crazy shit, I hope. I would like to say directly to her. Say, hey, don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> don't be crazy. I love you. I mean, she was nice to, I mean, she was nice about it. As mean as her mom was to her when she was growing up. Although, I mean, we only saw bits and pieces, right? I mean, could have been other stuff. Oh, is she dead? She really does look dead. She did a great job with that makeup. Oh, mommy. <laughs> I was just wondering where Christopher was. Did she ship him off to a boarding school too? You mean David, my husband? Yeah. Let's go out, get some air. Damn, that whole family just get married, don't even introduce their partner to their family? She always loved you. I need so much to be able to believe that now. This is the section pertaining to you. It is my intention to make no provision herein for my son Christopher or my daughter Christina. Reasons which are well known to them. <laughs> she was a bitch to the very end. To the very end. She said, oh, I'm going to get the last word. Don't worry. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised she didn't list all the shit they did. As usual, she has the last word. Yes, she did. That's fucked up. I mean. Does she? Oh. Like, I'm going to get the last word. I'm going to tell everybody how she really was. Does she? <laughs> hey, I mean, she she forced her daughter to do it. All she had to do was leave her a little coin, leave her a little money. Which well, Maybe she didn't have anything to leave them. Like, I mean, obviously she was not well off financially. Was She was sleeping on a box spring on the floor. So, did she really have anything to leave the kids? So... Oh, that was amazing. Okay, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Mommy Dearest. I forgot how good that movie was. I mean, yeah, there were some some scenes I completely forgot about. Um, but the major ones, oh, I remember them very well. I, I love that movie, and I can see why I can see why it stood the test of time and why it's so quotable. Like if if that movie is a depiction in any way of the real Joan Crawford, she was a badass. I mean, yeah, she was mean. She was mean to her kids, but like she was a very, very fierce woman. Like it it's actually kind of a inspirational story. Not not the being mean to your kids part, but you know, her having to come up and do things for herself and just you know, being a woman in Hollywood and aging. And I know that that's a big, you know, that's obviously a big, um, uh, that's a big challenge to overcome, right? Because you're, you're looked at for your beauty and your youth. And once you get to be older, I'm sure even now actors and actresses, you know, they are kind of, they fall by the wayside when they get older. So she was, she was like before her time, I'm sure. I'm sure that she was probably very, very upfront about how she was. And she probably made a lot of enemies too, because she was, she, she didn't seem to, like the type that would bite her tongue. Um, but yeah, I really, I enjoyed that movie. I thought it was fantastic. And there were parts of it, you know, I remember parts of it. I remember her being meaner, but now I think being older and having my own kids like some of the parts where, you know, particularly like the, the, some of the little conflicts that she would have with Christina, 
as a parent, I would have been angry too. Now, I don't know if I would have went to the extreme that she went to with some of this stuff, but I realized that children can push your buttons. And Christina was, she was a very defiant little girl. Like they were very alike in their personalities in that way. So I, I am in no way condoning being physically, emotionally abusive to your children. But um, Joan Crawford would probably, she probably thought at the time, and maybe even it was that time where, you know, you did, you kind of ruled your kids with a strong hand. Like you didn't let your kids run over you. And she <laughs> absolutely did not. Um, but, you know, in the end, Christina did get the last word. She wrote the book, Mommy Dearest. Um, I wonder if the book is even more detailed than the movie, because obviously the movie is an adaptation. So, uh, yeah, it makes me interested and makes me want to learn more about Joan Crawford. And I absolutely think I am going to watch Mildred Pierce again, because I watched it a long time ago and I thought... I remember it being a good movie. So I definitely want to check it out because I know now that's the one that Joan Crawford won the Oscar for uh, Best Leading Actress. So let me know what you guys thought of this reaction. Let me know, is Mommy Dearest, is that one of your favorite movies? Did you watch it for the first time with me? I'd like to know in the comments below. So until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.